Okay, it's rolling. It's rolling. Hey everybody, what's going on? Bobby Watts here from the Torches RC Helicopter Field in uh, Coe, Florida. So last weekend I posted a video showing what we do with RC helis. And for whatever reason, for the first time since that I, I've been involved in the hobby, it went uh, viral-ish. It, it really reached a lot of people. And I couldn't believe the amount of people who had interest in RC helis after seeing it. So if you're seeing this video after watching last week's video, uh, welcome. Welcome to what we do with RC helis. And I saw a lot of people just wondering really how it works. Some people thinking it was fake, but they probably think the world is flat too. But um, I just want to show you guys how RC helicopters work. It's pretty simple. Um, there is a lot of technology in here, but it's really not that crazy. Um, so here I have the same model I flew last weekend. So once again, this is the Mikado Logo 700. And this RC helicopter is built for the type of flying that I did last weekend. Um, so we call this 3D, where we're flying aerobatics all over the sky, we call it 3D flying. So how does the helicopter not explode? How does it work? How does it go upside down? All these things I shall answer right now for you. So here's what I've got. This is my radio controller. Uh, once again, this is my Mikado V-Bar control. It's awesome. Um, so I've got two sticks here that control the helicopter. And each stick can move in two different axes. So on the left stick, I have my pitch. So as you can see here, as I move my left stick up and down, this is called the swash plate. The swash plate moves and the blades give pitch. So from here I'm giving about mm, 14 to minus 14 degrees of pitch. So I have about 28 degrees of collective pitch moving here. So we call this collective pitch. Now this will make the helicopter just go up and down, just like that. So make the helicopter go straight up, straight down. So when I go up, I give positive collective. So you can see the blades are digging in and they will, main, they, they will create lift this way. So the helicopter will go up. Okay, so now what happens when we go upside down? When we go upside down, if you picture the helicopter going upside down like this, set it right here, no problem. When I give negative pitch, the blades are still moving in the same direction, but I'm now producing lift that way. So the helicopter will go upside down that way. So when I use the collective stick appropriately, it will go up and go down. Um, next we have the cyclic stick. So this here moves the swash plate and allows me to go forward, back, left, right. Forward, back, left, right. Um, so that's the basic idea of how the collective and the cyclic works. because we have a helicopter, we have a large rotating mass here, rotating one way. So here we're rotating clockwise, it's looking from straight down. And what that creates is a huge torque. So in order to offset that torque, we have a tail rotor. So this is the same type of tail rotor that you'd see on a real helicopter. So as you can see over here, we have a, a, a smaller rotor, which we call the tail blades or the tail rotor. And this one spins about four times, four to five times faster than the head. So if I'm spinning this at about 2,000 RPM, this is anywhere from 8,000 to 10,000 RPMs um, in general. We're like four or five to one, depending on the size. So these spin incredibly faster. And when I move this left stick, left and right, I can give pitch this way. So if I want the helicopter to spin to the left, I give it this direction. If I want it to spin to the right, I give it this direction. So with all these sticks moving like crazy, um, we can do a 3D flight. Another vital part of the RC helicopter is the blades. These blades are made from high strength carbon fiber and fiberglass materials and they are specifically designed for this exact application, for the 3D application. And no, these things don't explode, they don't break, uh, they're built to withstand this kind of abuse. And then lastly, we've got my motor here. This is a Scorpion motor. This is made by a company called Scorpion over in Hong Kong. 
Um, so this is the electric motor right here is the same one that I told you output about one horsepower per pound. It's incredible. It's really crazy. Um, so what we do is we tell this motor to spin the same RPM the whole time. So it's on cruise control. So I tell it, hey, spin the head at 2,000 RPM. No matter what I do to it in the air, it always gives or takes away throttle to maintain 2,000 RPM. So it's really cool. Um, and here we have the battery. Let me grab another one. I won't take that out. So this is a battery that we have here. This is one of my other ones. So this is a lithium battery. So a lithium polymer battery, a lipo battery. And this one right here is running uh, 12 lithium cells in series. So when this is fully charged, this is 50 volts. So like you can weld with this. There's a lot of power in here. Like you could jumpstart a 18 wheeler like all year with this. Like there's a lot of juice in this. Uh, so this is 50 volts at 5,000 milliamp hours. If you know anything about lithium batteries, that's the specs on that thing. So we've got some servos here that wiggle the swash plate for us. Servos here that moves the tail rotor. And very lastly, we have the flight controller back here, which is a simple computer that overall just maintains stability. So when our hands aren't touching it, all it's doing is keeping the helicopter locked into the same position. It doesn't have self-leveling, but as soon as I lock it into the same position, it's gonna keep it in the same heading. Um, so yeah, so that's RC Helicopter. That's how it works. Hopefully now you don't think that it was all Photoshop or all CGI. Um, and for you heli guys out there who know this, if this is what you know and this is what you do every weekend, go ahead and share this. So we gotta share this so that people can understand what we do with RC Helicopters, why we do it, all that good stuff. So last weekend was the uh, what we do. This is the how we do it. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.